Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New Makeup Release Wednesday? What? <laughs> all right guys, so you guys wanna see what all the new makeup releases are for the last week and a half and what my thoughts are on them. Well then definitely sit back, relax, and let's get in the video. So I threw myself off because typically I film my new makeup releases every Friday, but I missed last Friday because I wanted to show you guys my Black Friday haul. And then this coming up Friday, I'm not doing a new makeup release video because I am doing ranking my top however many palettes I have, Christmas palettes. I did it last year and I want to do it again this year. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive straight on in now. I definitely can see that the new makeup releases have kind of slowed down, but like at the same time they have not because they're just... There's just too much shit. I cannot keep up with that, but we're going to go ahead and dive right in. So up first, this one <laughs> made me laugh because, um, it's not even December. Okay. It's not even December, but it looks like we have some new sneak peeks for 2024. Um, both sneak peeks are from Lancome and I guess Val it's their Lancome Valentine's day collection and some lipsticks. What? What? It's not even Christmas. I swear to God, I feel like I'm gonna walk into Target or Walmart tomorrow and I'm gonna see a whole Valentine's Day section set up. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, whatever happened to just waiting and enjoying the holiday that hasn't even come up yet? <sighs> I digress, but it looks like beauty brands are already thinking ahead, thinking into next year. They don't care about this year anymore. They just care about next year. So we do have Lancome showing off two new lipsticks that are coming out for Valentine's Day and I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. Up next, it looks like Nikki Tutorials. She has a brand called Nimya and she is releasing the lightweight cream. She's releasing the Cheeky Flush Creams. These are a lightweight cream blush that blends and builds easily, providing a vibrant color with a skin-like finish and rich with pomegranate oils for $15 a piece. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have never tried this band brand. I'm not gonna lie, I've never tried this brand and I kind of have no desire to. I'm all for you know, content creators creating products. That is absolutely amazing. They are expanding their business. They're allowing themselves to go beyond just content creation. And I think that's freaking amazing. The only thing I think is a little weird. I will say these photos are beautiful, but it's clearly obvious to me that like sometimes these are a little photoshopped and I just really, really can't stand when a brand photoshops an image onto the person or photoshops a product onto the person. Um, the whole point of the makeup industry is to really show how the makeup forms and looks and there's so many brands out there i'm not just calling out nikki tutorials for this but there's so many brands out there that are notorious for just putting on like fake swatches on an arm and you can just clearly see it that they didn't actually swatch it on the model's arm they just did photoshop and it's just so misleading to the average consumer because there's so many people out there who literally just buy based upon looking at a photo or seeing what they see online they don't actually know that this is like legit fake at least at least like i i, I hope that they know at least I would hope that they would know the difference, but you just never know. And it's just so sad to see so many brands do this. It kind of just tells me that you don't trust your product, your product well enough to stand on its own or be so bright and vibrant that you have to Photoshop it on. And I just, I hate that. But getting into the blushes, I do like the fact that they are $15 a piece. I will say the shade, um, Hey Carl, or babe, I will say the shade, um, Perfect Peachy Peach is absolutely beautiful. That's the color that I would definitely gravitate to. But again, I've never shopped anything with this brand and I'm probably not going to. I just, I, I have no desire to. I don't know about y'all, but like, I love makeup. I really do. But I just feel like right now there's nothing really exciting coming out. As much as I want there to be something exciting, there's kind of not. So like, I'm being more stingy about what I'm buying right now, especially because it is the holiday season and I have so much makeup already that I probably already have these colors in my collection that like, I just don't care to have it. Am I the one that feels this way? Up next, it looks like She Glam Official is rolling out with their Chrome Zone Full Collection. The Chrome Zone Collection just got bigger with chromatic pigments and new color shifting duochrome shades and products. They retail for $6.99 a piece. This is such an easy pass for me. I do not shop She Glam, and it's so funny because all I get now are She Glam emails at them asking to send me their newest launch, and I just ignore every single one. But the thing that's kind of crazy, I'll show a little sample right here is that I think I get grouped into somebody else's email. Like somehow I got CC'd in or like forwarded in for some reason. Cause like, I don't know who this person is and yet I'm in their emails and I really wish like I could unsubscribe and block them. I try, but it just keeps coming through. It goes in my spam. I don't want to work. Okay. I don't, I have no interest. 
but in case you do, uh, they have some new Chrome flakes that are out in case you wanna check them out. Up next, it looks like Tarte is rolling out with new Amazonian Clay Liquid Gem Foundation. So this is a foundation that catches the light for a youthful glow, customizable, full coverage while feeling weightless, like a second skin and a laser cut blush. And a laser cut brush, it retails for $35.98 and there are 17 shades. Um, you know what's so funny is I don't think I've ever tried any of the Tarte Amazonian Clay products. I couldn't tell you whether or not they're good or not. I heard that if you have oily skin, you would really like the Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, so this is something I could be interested in checking out long. This is something I could be interested in checking out. It's very unique. It is a glow, and I don't really know if I want to have a glow foundation, but I do think like the packaging is kind of cool. Like the way that the foundation is like in the component with the brush, it looks kind of cool. I don't know how well this performs on me, but like, I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested a little bit. Up next, it looks like Maybelline is releasing some new mascaras, or three new colors. This is part of their Sky High collection, so they're rolling out the Sky High Cosmic. This mascara will give you volume and length to your lashes, flexible brushes that capture all lashes, even to the smallest, to, to lengthen and stretch from root to tip. They retail for $12.99, and you have the shades Pink Air, Blue Mist, and Burgundy Haze. Now, I have tried the Sky High. It's a decent mascara, not my favorite, but like... I just really can't fathom anyone walking around with like pink mascara. Like I feel like that will kind of defeat the purpose of like making your lashes look long and luscious. There's nothing wrong with it if that's what you like. Hey, I'm going to support you. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like wondering like, well, like what is the pink going to do? You know what I mean? Like what's the pink going to do unless you're going to like some sort of festival? I can't see someone really wearing it every day. Same with like the blue or burgundy. It's just something that like I just don't see realistically being a mascara that I use every day. I, but that, to, but to me personally, I've never been into um, colorful mascaras like ever because I just I know I personally would never get use out of it. But um, I do really like Maybelline's uh, mascaras. They have some of my favorite mascaras out there, so um, I really do like the fact that they, I really do like them. So if you like mascaras, if you like Maybelline, go check it out. Okay, so. I don't know the full details of this launch. As soon as I know more details, I will let you know in my community page on YouTube. But it looks like Glam Light is releasing a new collection with Garfield. So we can't really see much into what their collection is. All I can tell you is that it's gonna be launching sometime this week. And you guys can use code AllieD, which will save you guys 15% off. Now, I'm gonna be very open with you guys. I love Glam Light. Glam Light is my absolute favorite brand out there. But I'm also not oblivious to the slow shipping. <laughs> I'm trying to say this nicely because at the end of the day, I don't want the brand to think I'm insulting them. So I'm really not. But like, I am kind of seeing the slow shipping because I made a purchase, I think like on October 31st, like November 1st, I made a purchase at the very end of October, early November. And it was for like the lip oils and the makeup bag and the candle, the things that I didn't pick up before with the Freddy and the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. And it says that my label was created on the 19th. It is officially the 28th and my product has not moved. First off, it took almost 20 days for them to ship out my order, but now it just says label's been printed, which means that they still haven't even shipped out my order. Now I have worked with a cosmetics brand before. I know what it comes into when it says like your label has been printed. It just means that they got your order in. They got your order in and they're processing it. It doesn't mean they actually shipped out your order. It just means that they just created a label for your order, but they haven't shipped it out. So my label was created on the 19th. It's now the 28th. By the time you guys see this, it'll be the 29th. So like it, my order is just sitting there and I ordered this back at the end of October, early November. So I just want to say I have seen your guys' frustration when it comes to Glam Light and their shipping and how long things get processed. And I'm here to tell you guys I'm right in the same boat with you. I made my own purchases with Glam Light and I'm still waiting for stuff to come in. Hey, quick little update from Editor Ali here. In the middle of editing this video, they actually shipped out officially my Glam Light order. So the one from the end of October, early November is officially shipped. I finally got an updated tracking. Should be here the next day or two. And I talk about the foodie box next and that has actually shipped as well. That says it's gonna be here before my giveaway. So I'm super excited. So I get the frustration. Um, but I will say, ultimately, though, I really do love the brand. So I'm really curious to see what they're doing when it comes to Garfield. I am not a fan of Garfield. And the only reason why is I didn't grow up watching Garfield. Or, and I didn't grow up watching, like, the little news clipping in the, in the newspaper of Garfield and stuff. I never grew up on Garfield. And I know that they're doing a Garfield movie because Chris Pratt is the voice of it. Because I've seen a trailer for it. Which he's a voice for freaking everything at this point. <laughs> but, like, legit, I never grew up watching Garfield 
or anything has to do with Garfield. So like for me, I'm personally not excited about this collection. I hope I see something lasagna based and food based, but that's pretty much it. I don't really know too much else about Garfield other than the name and the obsession with food and lasagna in particular. So I don't really know what my thoughts are going to be on this collection. I generally would have to see it to really give you guys my thoughts. But as of right now, I think this, I think it's safe to say this is the first collection from Glimlight that I'm not that thrilled or excited about. It's with the collaboration that I'm not like really familiar with or don't really like have a love for. Do you know what I mean? I will say though, I really do wish, I really do miss the days when Glenlight just came out with their own stuff, like their pizza palettes, their burger palettes, their ice cream, their red velvet, their donuts. I miss those days. And I know that Glenlight has so many more licenses ahead of them because I saw Giselle recently talking about on TikTok that she has like 26 more licensed deal coming up. And as amazing as it is, sometimes I just kind of wish I can see them coming out with their own stuff again. But that's just my personal opinion. I love them. So as soon as I have more information about the Garfield launch, I will absolutely let you guys know in my community section because that's where I kind of give you guys updates and everything. Speaking of Glamlight, Glamlight just launched their foodie mystery box. And this actually does retail for $59. But if you use code LED, you guys will save 15% off. Um, I went ahead and I bought this and you guys are gonna get 10 full-size items in here. So you guys are gonna get three foodie theme eyeshadow palettes, three lashes, one lip kit, one lip liner, one face palette, and one mystery item. Now, like I said, I did purchase this. And I know a lot of you guys are out there when I said I purchased this were like, wait a minute, don't you already have these items? I do, but I did purchase it in hopes that I could have it in time just to do a quick little unboxing video. Cause like, obviously I'm not going to keep the items that are in there cause I have my own. So I would just make my own, but I wanted to give that box away as part of my Christmas giveaway. So I don't really know what's going on there. I don't know if that's going to be a thing because I did order this. And based on what I'm seeing with the Freddy and the Jason collection that I ordered, don't know if I'll have it in time for my Christmas giveaway. I still might do a giveaway with it, but it might be one of those things when the whenever it comes in, the winner would just get sent it as soon as I get it in. It's frustrating. I love Glamlight, but it is frustrating waiting forever for shipping. And trust me, I see your guys' comments. I see it all over Instagram. Just know I love them, but I'm also experiencing it the same time as you guys are. So we're in this together. Yay! <laughs> okay, so up next, Milk Cosmetics has a new collaboration and it is with the beautiful Bailey Syrian. I absolutely love Bailey. I freaking love her. I love her makeup mystery series that she does. And I also love that she did like her Dark Academy series as well, which kind of dig like digged into other like other fun dark history stuff. Um, so it's so exciting to see her come out with her own collaboration. Now this is with Milk Cosmetics. The whole set does retail for I think like $175, but it includes the Fatally Yours eyeshadow palette, four lipsticks, um, two ultra gel matte liners, two gel eaves, and a mini lip set in a Fatally Yours heart bag. Now I will say the palette is really pretty. It's like a really grungy matte palette. Um, someone said it's kind of similar to the way that my palette looks. Here are the swatches right here. Very, very, very beautiful. I'll also put up on the screen in case you guys want to check it out. It's an all matte palette, so I really don't know what type of look I would create when using this palette personally, because I do like to have some sort of dimension. But I want to let you guys know that I actually passed on this collection. I know, I passed. Me passing on a Melt Cosmetics collection. I have gotten almost every single Melt Cosmetics collection over the last couple of years. They were, at one point, one of my favorite brands. But I feel like they reformulated themselves like a year or two ago. I'm not sure when exactly the formula changed, but I just don't really care for their formula anymore. One minute it works great, the next minute it doesn't. It's very inconsistent. And I've also seen people have mold. I remember Teresa ended up having mold in her one of her palettes. And so many other people online were showing were saying that their milk cosmetic palettes have mold in it as well. So it's kind of like a turn off to the brand. And like the last two palettes I reviewed, I just wasn't a fan. So for me, as much as I love Bailey, I know realistically, I know myself so much. I would buy this collection, I would review it, and then I probably really wouldn't touch it again. And for me, I find that to be so wasteful. I find that to be so wasteful. There's probably some of you out there who want this collection more than I do. And I'd rather not be one of the reasons why it might sell out. I'm not saying I would be, but like, I'd rather go to like a better home. I'd rather not waste my 175 or how much do these things cost individually to buy something that I'm only gonna wear one once or twice, and then that's it. I already have too many eyeshadow palettes as it is, and I'm waiting to do my declutter series. But I was very proud of myself. I said, no, I love Bailey, but this just wasn't a palette for me. I knew I was not going to get that excited about it. So I went ahead and passed, but it is available now. If you guys do want to check it out, it is absolutely gorgeous. Just 
not for me. So up next, it looks like Nicki Minaj is rolling out with the Pink Friday 2 perfume. I didn't know she had a perfume. <laughs> but this is going to retail for $49, which I will say I think is actually an incredible price compared to all the other celebrities that roll out their perfumes. Theirs are always so expensive. So it's really nice to see hers being quite affordable at $49. This is definitely going to be a pass for me, though, because it's one of those perfumes I do have to smell in person before I buy it. And I don't know if I'm going to like the scents because it has nectarine, pineapple, orange, flowers, pink mimosa, like things that I don't really gravitate to. But if you guys do like Nicki Minaj, perfume would be available for you. Okay, so up next, NYX Cosmetics is rolling out with the addition to the Fat Oil family. Say hello to the Fat Oil Slick Clits. Clicks. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not entirely sure what I said. Um, I, in my head, I swore I said clicks, but I'm scared that I might have said something else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure what I said. Um, so this right here is gonna be tongue twister on me, but um, this is a new shiny lip balm that's easy to apply in a range of flattering shades with a clickable stick format infused with a nourishing plant powered ingredients raspberry oil avocado oil and cloudberry oil delivers up to 12 hours of hydration i would absolutely love to check this out i really do like the fat lip oils that i have already from nyx from nyx cosmetics i think they're absolutely fantastic so to have a stick version being like a bomb one that's gonna be super nice this is definitely a yes from me i just hate the fact that i don't know what i said <laughs> okay so up next we do have another spring collection these fancy bougie brands are rolling out with their spring pretty sure once valentine day day rolls out they're gonna be like oh guys 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 i know it's valentine's day but here is your winter 2024 collection <laughs> so this is the new spring 2024 collection from valentino it looks to just be a cushion foundation and a satin lipstick boring very very easy to pass you know, it wouldn't be the holidays if we didn't see this pop up, but Clinique is doing it again. They're doing their Lunar New Year. So they're gonna be doing the 2024 celebrating the year of the dragon. This includes a special a special red lacquered packaging and it's gonna include the special highlighter and a moisturizing lotion. Year of the dragon, is that me? Am I year of the dragon? Is that me? Who's year of the dragon? What year? 1998 oh 98 babies it's your turn okay what's the year of 1989 who am i who am i what am i 1989 i'm here the snake i'm here the snake <laughs> so i thought it was my time to shine with a dragon but i guess it's not so clinique is rolling out with their year of their yearly horoscope collection this only sells out very this only sells very well for them and um, if you want to go get your hands on it it's a nice collectible items definitely go do so so up next it looks like fenty beauty is rolling out with a new gloss bomb universal lip luminizer this is a clf collaboration with fenty beauty this is in the shade called candy soda this is a shimmering holographic rose pink that makes lips look and sleep fuller with a non-sticky formula retails for 21 dollars, and it does have a scent of peach vanilla scent which is so weird because normally it smells like water Melon, but now it's going to smell like peach vanilla so that's actually really nice very pretty color something that i'm definitely interested in checking out so i have never heard of this brand before but this is a new disney collaboration so it's disney collaboration or disney it's disney pixar collaboration with color key this is the turning red collaboration with color key this is going to roll out with the red panda power palette the soft mist matte lip glaze and a silky matte lip mud i've never heard of this brand before i will say this is super cute packaging i will say the color store on the inside is a little disappointing because it's a red panda so you think it'd have more of like a red tone to it but i've never tried this brand i've never heard of this brand so if you are interested if you love the red panda movie this might be for you. I'm not surprised to say this, but we have another bougie brand rolling out with their spring collection. So YSL Beauty is rolling out their spring 2024 Rouge Per Culture. This is a revamp in slim velvet radical mattes on fire and it has new shades. So there's gonna be uh, six new shades to this line and it's for their spring collection. And I have not tried anything from this brand, but no. 
So this next uh, palette, this next launch, I laughed about because I just told you guys the story in yesterday's video about my situation with P. Louise. I want to give you guys an update. My package did come in. I tried to return it with the uh, U.S. I tried to I tried to see if I could refuse it with UPS, but unfortunately, it came from USPS. So I am taking it to go get it shipped out with tracking. So I do have to unfortunately pay for shipping and handling again. Yay! I'm so excited. But it is what it is. I'm hoping to get my money back at this point. If like shipping and handling is like 20 bucks, I might as well just keep this one. Cause like, it's like half the order. Like my, this one was my US one. So this one's like $47. If it's shipping and handling is 20, I might as well just freaking keep it. I'm to Allie here one more time. So to update with my P. Louis situation, I actually went to my local USPS and my local UPS store this morning to see if I could ship back out the item. But the shipping to send it back, cost more than what I actually paid for. So I'm kind of shit out of luck on this one. I guess I'm just going to have to keep it. Um, I will say after dealing with the situation, the customer service team was incredibly nice. Um, we talked a lot this morning. They're super sweet. Uh, I, I definitely still am going to shop the brand, but this was like a lesson learned on my part. But yeah, I unfortunately can't ship it back now because shipping minimum alone, minimum is 30 bucks to ship back to the UK. And I paid only 47 for this. So I'm just going to keep it. You might've seen these items in a giveaway or me selling it on Macari, but that's the update there. Anyway, besides that, uh, P. Louise just announced on their page that they have their November budget box. Now, November, now their budget boxes, I think are actually quite worth it. I think they're like 35 to $40. You get like one palette and a couple items in there. Seems to be very, very worth it. And they're rolling out with a new palette this month. And this palette is called Chilled. And it looks to be 50 Shades of Michaela's Rejects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it literally is 50 shades of Michaela's rejects re rejects because literally Michaela just rolled out with an icy blue slash beige neutral palette with P. Louise and they're dropping this chilled palette in their November budget box that is all blues, all icy blues. Like, uh, are you kidding me? If I were Michaela, I would be so freaking pissed. I'd be like, what the heck? I just launched this palette with you and you guys still have to roll out the same freaking color scheme. Like what the, oh my God, I could not even imagine. I couldn't even imagine, but they literally rolled out this palette. It's freaking beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, but like legit. <laughs> it's 50 Shades of Michaela Rejects. It's exactly what it is. I'm gonna pass on this because I just don't care to have the palette, but I'm gonna pass on this. But I will say the comment section was surprisingly super nice, which makes me feel like they're pretty heavily editing it because if you go on TikTok, ooh, it is a whole different ball game when it comes to P. Louise. And when you go on like their product page, the way people are just kind of pissed at them for so many different situations, like one of the situations, legit, I'm spilling some tea here. Come on guys, let's just fuck up, let's spill some tea. But like one of the situations that people have been seeing, you can search this up on TikTok, is that people have been getting their orders from P. Louise, they open the box and it's just a piece of paper with what they ordered that says, your product's out of stock, contact customer service. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? They're literally sending empty boxes with the paper that says your product is out of stock. Now, P. Louise did address this. Paige Sex, that's the owner of the brand. Paige said that that's not her fault. Like, it's not them. It's their fulfillment center that's doing it, that they would never allow something like that to happen. But the fact that's happening to begin with, like... <laughs> girl. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really do like the brand's formula. That's the sad part is I really love their palettes. They have some amazing, amazing palettes. I have quite a few of them. I have like a whole collection of them, a whole drawer dedicated to P. Louise. I generally do love their palettes, but just to see this kind of going on right now, it's a little shocking. I love them so much, but this is just, it's a wild, it's wild. Now, will I still shop P. Louise? Absolutely. Because I love their product so much, but I'm going to skip out on this launch, like the Michaela one. I'm skipping out on this launch because it's just, I need, a, I, need a, I need a little space at the moment. Last but not least, we have the brand new Blend Bunny Cosmetics Makia Mach, 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 or Machina, however you want to say this. There's different ways to say it, I guess. We have the new Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. Now this actually does retail for $45. It does launch this Friday, December 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which will be 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can use code Ali save you guys 10% off. Now I went ahead and I already played this palette. If you guys have not seen, I just did a video yesterday on my channel. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Freaking love this eye look. I love this palette. And I show you guys how this how fun this palette is with swatches and all the details about this palette. But I will say this is probably one of the prettiest palettes. I will say it's probably one of the prettiest eye looks I've done using a Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. And while the outside color story, while the outside packaging may look a little different from the inside color story, I was, you know, thoroughly impressed with this palette. 
Blend Bunny did such a great job with how they did the layout, how they did the formula, how they did the shimmers from the names, everything. And I also think there's like a special place in my heart for this palette because this was the last project that the owner created with her dad before her dad sadly passed. And so I'm very, very much having a soft spot for this. And I know this this palette probably means the most to Maggie more than anything else. So if you guys do wanna check this out, I'll make sure I have a link down below for when it goes live, as well as how I did this eye look as well. But that will be launching this Friday. So that is all the new makeup releases. I'm sorry that I dropped the ball last Friday and I'm dropping a ball again this Friday. We just have a lot going on. I told you guys last week when I posted only three videos that coming up this week and all throughout the month of December, we have a lot of videos coming your way. I'm not participating in Vlogmas just because I want to have the weekends to myself, but I am going to be coming at you. I mean, I'm going to be coming at you guys with like four to five videos almost every week until the end of the year. So you're going to see this face a lot, <laughs> but that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about all the new makeup releases down below. Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Let me know, but that is it. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, Art for Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumb down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye so we we're just throwing this on a random wednesday so welcome back if you guys are new here or so welcome back if you guys so so we're just gonna go ahead and sort because it's with the collaboration that i don't it's because it's with a brand because it's with like a because base it, which i will say is actually an incredible vibe which I will say is definitely an incredible price that I had issues with Pat. So I just told you guys yesterday.